Hi, the topic that we have today is a very serious topic. It is almost universal. And I'm going to give you five ways to control your anger in marriage. That's the topic, five ways to control your anger in marriage. Before we get into that, I want to let you know that in our courses, we address anger as something that should and can be completely eliminated. In fact, we've had people who have taken the course, men and women, write to us and say, wow, you should get this out there for everybody. Because what is out there now, they call anger management. And I like this title better because it's control. It doesn't go far enough. But I'm going to give you ways that will help you. But ultimately, it takes more than just what we can do in a YouTube video for you to actually completely eliminate anger. So number one, stop. Just stop. When you feel that anger coming up, because it has physiological effects on you too. So you're aware of it before it comes out of your mouth. So number one is to stop and relax. Actually tell your body, breathe. <sighs> tell your mind it's okay. So stopping, Breathing, relaxing is number one. Number two, think. One of the problems with anger is it pushes everything else aside. It pushes the feeling of love aside. It pushes relevant ideas aside that are associated with whatever it was that triggered you. So after you stop, breathe and relax, the next thing to do is think. Think, and this is going to surprise you, think about God or think about, and this is not religious, or think about your spouse in a positive way. So you're going to move the energy of anger off to the side in a way, because it's think of it as a hitchhiker and you're leaving it aside. And instead you are in charge of your mind. So now are you going to use it to start thinking about positive things? Number three, visualize your heart with a door on it and open the door and allow liquid love to flow out towards your spouse and engulf them. Turn it into this big thing. Do a video in your mind of that happening and that because it's so positive to do that. And love is much more powerful than anger, but your mind has been sucked into the anger. Now you are going to use your free will to bring it to love. Number four, I'm going to give you a mantra. <laughs> I'm not a guru or anything like that, but you know what a mantra is. It's an affirmation. It's something that you repeat over and over and over to impress in your conscious, you're using your conscious mind to impress upon your subconscious mind, something that you choose that is going to do some good. So your mantra, as soon as you feel angry, you go, I am love. I am joy. I am love. I am joy and keep doing it over and over. Those thoughts are going to be battering on you. They're going to want to get in. They're going to challenge you. They're going to rip on you. Ignore it. I am love. 
I am joy. Or you could say, I am joy, I am love. Either way, when you're doing this, what you're doing is you're recreating your state of mind. And again, you're leaving the hitchhiker on the side of the road. Let that anger go someplace else. Now, a lot of people will say, learn to meditate, go get exercise, go run, go distract yourself. Sure, but let's be more proactive than that. Let's gain control over the mind. I know you don't have the so technique and you may not be inclined to take the course for men or the course for women, which would really help you, but you may not be inclined to do that for whatever reason. And so you still want to be proactive. You still want to assert yourself over the mind. But more importantly, you want to do something to prevent the anger from coming in. Prevention is much stronger than the cure. So what happens is the anger rides in to our consciousness by way of an outer trigger. And we have habitual reactions to these outer conditions that we have been building up for years and years and years and years. So as soon as you feel that anger, what you want to do is you want to examine your mind and you want to look at why that trigger will care. Why is my mind reacting that way? And so now what you're doing is you're refocusing your attention on something that is positive and proactive. You're investigating the cause, not the outer cause. It's not the outer cause that made you angry. It's the inner reaction, the inner trigger that sets you off. And so examine it. I'm going to say it again. The solution for anger is best taken by taking the course. It really, and I can't do it in a video. So my suggestion is to take a look. The courses start out free. It's a free trial. You may say, well, that's okay. I'll just learn about this anger. And you will for the first three days. And then I'll say, thank you. Goodbye. And maybe you'll donate a little something to the marriage foundation. We are nonprofit in gratitude, or maybe not. It's okay. We're here to serve you. My name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation to be of service to you. I hope you like this video, got something from it. That's the most important thing. And know that there are people who don't just manage their anger. We have eliminated it 100% impossible because the body, which is all about self-preservation, is constantly bringing it up. But to say we eliminated it 99% is fair. 99%. You'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? God bless you. Hope to see you again. Take care. Thank you.